Howdy, my name is Caitlin Klepak, and I will be discussing inclusion in the Chinese Student Association. So to introduce the problem, inclusion is crucial in any student organization. And within the Chinese Student Association, CSA for short, at Texas A&M, there has been a problem regarding the lack of inclusion. Some groups and individuals tend to feel left out. Therefore, research was conducted to determine the specific issues within the organization and develop solutions that could enhance inclusion in CSA and ultimately improve the culture of CSA. So this is just a general overview of the research tasks that were conducted throughout this process. So for task one, we identified CSA's objective at campus, and this was done by looking at their official website and Instagram. And the goals in CSA were identified and can be shown on the image on the right, which included embracing diversity, developing strong bonds, becoming a family, getting involved, giving back, and learning the Chinese American culture. Task two was identified CSA's objective at campus. This was done by conducting an anonymous survey to members of CSA regarding questions about inclusion in CSA. The responses received back were from various ages in CSA, and the members were asked an open-ended question about any negative thoughts they had regarding inclusion, and one member responded with, at some volunteering events, my friends had felt a bit excluded because they couldn't speak Chinese and some families were a bit clicky, and another participant said, some families are less inclusive. This chart on the right shows the members' feelings of inclusion based on a question that was asked in the survey. Task three was detected particular issues that members have with the organization. So general members were interviewed, including Megan Yee and Ryan Lee. Megan Yee was asked if she ever felt excluded in CSA, and she responded with, probably this year because the house I got sorted into, I don't connect with them because they are mostly freshmen. And Ryan Lee mentioned in his interview that some drama occurs that can make the environment feel toxic or exclusive. And the image on the right just shows the interview questions that were asked to CSA general members. Task four was determined the officer's perspective on the situation. So interviews were conducted with officers, including VP of Internal of CSA, Jaden Oka, and Treasurer of CSA, Emily Chow. Oka mentioned in his interview that one member that is a friend has mentioned that their fam has been clicky. Some fans are clicky for members that are new or have different interests. And Chow said, some people found that their household isn't their vibe and would rather be somewhere else. In both of the interviews, they said that the groups and individuals who tend to be left out are the more introverted people. And the image on the right shows the interview questions that were asked to CSA officers. Task five, analyze existing research to explore possible solutions. This included researching secondary research and sources. And from the International Public Management Journal 3, they found that allowing greater participation in the decision-making process, it is argued, will allow new priorities to emerge. Also, we found from these resources that planning inclusive events is significantly important in any organization. So what we recommend so for proposal one, we recommend organization family speed dates. This is where members in CSA will go on speed dates with, with each family and they will determine their personalities and they'll figure out which family they better mesh with. Proposal two, anonymous member platform. So this is where members can anonymously reach out to the officers of CSA and let them know how they're feeling about inclusion and it will be found as a form on their website and the feedback from the form will be addressed in the meetings. Thank you very much.